What is up all you beautiful people? It is I, Akemi TCG, back here with a new video. There won't be any fancy effects in this one. This will just be a straight discussion of my Crusadia Guard Dragon regional report. So I just came back from regionals. This was about, let's see, today is Tuesday, so four days ago. I went to the Providence regionals on the 29th and it ended up going 4-3 drop with this deck. And I'll just be going over each of my matchups and what ended up happening and what cards are really good and what cards weren't. So first of all, deck is exactly the same as the February list except for the side deck. And the side deck is going to be one red reboot, Kaiju Slumber, two Imperms, Revival, Doggeran, pretty much the Kaiju package, and two Mystic Minds. This did help a lot in the regionals and I'll be getting into that. Two Mystic Minds, two Evenlies, two Drolls as it come up to, this helped a lot, and two Twin Twisters. Basically I was pretty satisfied with the whole entire side deck. There was not any point where I wish I could have changed something in the side deck, but the only thing I would change um, just in the future if I ever play this deck at another regionals is I would probably main one of these cards. Now, you're y'all probably thinking, oh this card is extremely brick. And it is. Don't get me wrong, it is brick. But there are so many opportunities, or so many times where I lost the dice roll and I had to go second. And if I had this in my deck, I would have had game. So many times. I, I don't know what's going on, but there are so many times where they'd leave two like semi big beaters, like 2k, 2500 beaters on the field, and I'd have enough gas to get game, but I did not have this in the main deck. And I feel like because of that, it should be included in the main deck. Let me just fix my camera in a second. This webcam, configure video, configure that. Let's remove the autofocus here. Perfect. So, anyways, I would have definitely made this and then taken out the kaiju for even potentially another kaiju. Maybe uh, the uh, the win one, I believe, Narla. I don't want to play Dark Kaiju, it's just because they're super poly targets, so I always want to play something different. That's all I would change for the side deck for the extra. Um, Avermax came up a couple times, Thousand Eyes Restrict were amazing. These two cards were absolutely amazing. I did summon Millennium Eyes a lot more, so if I wanted more extra deck space, I would take out Thousand Eyes and put in something else like uh, Dugaris, the Timeless. I was thinking about it, and Dugaris would help me win a lot of games if I had that, but unfortunately I didn't. Cybers Quantum, this came up a couple times, um, for whatever reason at the regionals, I'll just get into it with you guys about the matchups I played against. Quantum just didn't come up, it straight up just didn't come up, and that just happens sometimes. Two Magius, LP Pisty Spada, Regulex, you know, the whole Crusadia gang gang, Skuldred, Hyratic Seal, uh, two Skuldreds came up a lot because I was fishing for the Waterfront. Borla Savage, this came up a couple times, amazing card. And Echo Max, obviously, because the One Punch Man, the man, the legend, the myth. Definitely needed all of those. Main deck is completely the same. You can check the uh, February list on the I card. But now, let me get into every single matchup I played against. And let me just explain everything. So, I know there's a lot of gibberish on this, but I'm just going to break it down. Round 1, I played against 3.5 Access Link. I made the board. And uh, my final board was Echo Max, um, Gamma Seal with the Crawler, and I also have a set Quick Launch. So he draws, main phase, he activates Dark Ruler no more. I chain Quick Launch and chain Echo Max uh, in response to the uh, Quick Launch, and then negate his Dark Ruler no more. Then he just scooped from there because he couldn't break it. At that point, I didn't know he was playing Axis Link. He just played um, the Dark Ruler no more, and then I negated it. Then he just scooped. So I didn't really know what to side against him. Um, game 2, he makes a mediocre board. I got really lucky and he forgot to put in Borlo Savage Dragon. So his his ending board was literally uh, Nightmare Griffin, Appaloosa, and a Nightmare Phoenix. All calling to each other. So I just straight up just OTK'd him with the um, one of the Crusadias and just use Revival to smack everything once. So that was super easy. It shouldn't have been. If he had Borlo Savage, I wouldn't have been able to do that. I didn't have enough gas in the hand. But that it is how it is. Game 2, 
uh, round two, I played against zombies. So I made the Gamma Seal board again. He could not break it. He scoops. Um, then game two, he Nibiru's me. But uh, he basically Nibiru'd me too late. And basically what I mean is he had Nibiru from the get-go when I was making the board. But he thought that Gamma Seal only negates stuff on the uh, hand. No, not hand. Anywhere on the field, but he just read that card wrong. It just says that he can use Kaiju counters anywhere in the field or Kyoto counters anywhere in the field. So he activated Nibiru once I summoned Gamma Seal, and I just negated it with Gamma Seal, and then he just uh, could not break the board. So that was um, just luck on my part. Just he just didn't know what the card was. Round three against Spirals, he bricked, I bricked, but. Um, he ended up drawing into a monster card and he had souls in hand so <laughs> that's a wrap and then game two he just completely annihilated me with spirals um, I did draw him once but next turn he just recovered I called by the grave I hit the wrong target it was just me not knowing the matchup that well and I didn't know the spiral choke point so that was completely my fault as well so I lost there so my current record is now 2-1 round four Oh boy, what going on? Why did I go against round 4? Uh, round 4, I went up against Rockets. And uh, he couldn't break the board game 1, so he just chose the scoops. So I had no idea what he was playing. Then he um, makes a nutty board game 2. And I managed to slowly break it. It was a really long grind game. like It was at least 25 minutes. And he finally ended up summoning Tracer, popping one of his other cards. And he made Draco Berserker the Tenyi, and I just got destroyed by it, absolutely ravaged by it. So game three, we didn't have much time left. He bricked, and then I miscalculated, and I could have had game, but I had him at exactly 50 life points with Orochi. <laughs> and there was only a minute left in the clock when it was his turn, so he could not make the board on time to break me within a minute he definitely had game i looked at his hand he definitely had game but he just couldn't do the whole combo in one minute it was just not possible for him so i just kind of got lucky there round five i went up against paleo he basically opened so two solemn strikes one crackdown and the rest is history <laughs> my deck is really successful to that and i did not draw into red reboot so what can you do or twin twisters and game two he just nibiru'd me and i died <laughs> Around six, I played against Salomon Greats. I educate him twice. On the game two, he starts off by standby phase, flipping different dimension ground, and basically, I do my combo. I do the one punch combo with uh, Regulex and Maximus, and I had enough gas on board. And I attack into his Bailings, but he tries to activate the. Uh, What's that new snake card? Like it's like emergency snake or something like that. Cyber snake. It's a new hand trap um, that people are checking in, and I call a judge over because I realize he can't do that because it specifies from hand to graveyard. And since different dimension ground was activated earlier that turn, he cannot use prohibit snake. That's the name of the card. So I just killed him there. And then round seven, I played against Infernoids. I made the board. He couldn't break the board, but he didn't reveal what deck he was playing, so we went to game two. Game two, he lets me go first. I could not make a board. And game three, it was just a straight grind game, but I made an extreme misplay. And um, he he knew Sate Samus, I believe. The one that is like a DD Crow on the field. And when he attacked, I chose to activate Infinite and Permanence then. If I had activated earlier, then he wouldn't have been able to banish my Equimax and I would have had game the next turn. But I waited till he attacked and I just realized it was a quick effect. So once the once he attacks, he can just quick effect off itself. And then since the attack already went through, the effect is already activated. So uh, yeah, that was <laughs> that was my run. Got really far to round seven. I'm pretty sure I could have made it to round eight and nine. But the thing is, this deck is so susceptible to just hand traps. Uh, Nibiru especially in general and it does really hurt when I don't open up call by and even if I do open up call by or Millennium Eyes, Infinite Impermanence absolutely crushes the deck into pieces so I'm thinking of completely reverse engineering the deck and making it so it's more flexible and more scales maybe possibly adding more rockets into it but 
for now, I'm going to put down the deck and just temporarily play something else. Get my head out of the gutter. Maybe I'm just playing this deck so linearly too much that I don't really have an idea of what um, I want to do with it next. So I have to qu take a quick break from the deck, play something else. The Crusade isn't over, guys. It is not over. And just as a preview for what deck I'll be playing next, it's going to be... Ooh. This deck. This beautiful deck. Dark Magicians. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this regional report. I know um, I do have to improve myself as a duelist. It does take a lot of time, takes a lot of effort, and it's just a lot of it was just not ne me knowing the matchups. And honestly, sometimes not all matchups can be won. If they Nibiru me, I don't have a choice but to run into it. Um, you simply cannot make a board with Crusadia Guard Dragon without running into Nibiru. Like that's just the that's just the cold hard truth. Like the deck just hard loses to Nibiru. And um as I thought was an extremely huge hit to the deck. And everybody else is now playing Nibiru, so I kinda have to slow down and play a deck that doesn't get hit by Nibiru or somehow summon Appaloosa or Borlo Savage first for MR5. And MR5 uh Crusadius can be great. I can make it into a Turbo Borlo Savage or Turbo Crystal Wing, get that out of the way first, and then I can go off with my plays. That would be nice, but we'll just have to see. Anyways, I am a Kemi Place. Hope you guys enjoyed this regional report. I know it's just me talking to the camera, but this is for the raw supporters out there, the diehard Crusadia fans. Thank you so much. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. The world ends now.